Hello and good evening. We're about to assemble a Berg steel trailer. We're here in our JKC's Tidemaster Berg showroom. The tools you need, either a Phillips screwdriver or a screw gun, screw gun is handy. You need a 13 or a 17 mil socket set. Now I actually should say at this juncture that they actually give you everything in the box, but if you have these, it speeds up the process. Uh, just a couple of different size Allen heads and a scissors just to open it. So, um, just take note of the time. It should take about 15 minutes to do this. And this may be of help to you if you're doing it at a certain time of the night or a certain time of the year. I find myself, I say to a lot of people, uh, it'll be 10 minutes putting it together, five minutes sorting out the packaging. Like everything these days, and be careful how it disposes, but there's a lot of packaging with all these things at the moment. If you're familiar with Berg products, um, they're packed really well, and the, the packaging is like the products. It's it's very very good, and it's it's almost unheard of for a product to come out of a, a box um, damaged with with Berg or from a Berg product. I keep a lot of these cardboard cornering. Of course, we sell a lot of stuff online, and it's great for save stuff getting damaged when we in turn send it out. Uh, there's warranties on all Berg products and you get the registration number on the back of the instruction manual that's with you. So uh, when, you, when you have the trailer made, it's very handy just to log on and and activate all the warranties on your product. I don't think I've ever, in 32 years selling Berg, had to activate a warranty on a, a trailer. So, um, they've got that last. There's one steel piece here, just be careful how you dispose of that, it is steel, genuinely is steel and could cause damage if it goes to the wrong area. Now, dispose of that appropriately. Don't be frightened by all the nuts, bolts and screws, it actually is one of the easier items to assemble. And as I said to you earlier on, Berg give you all the necessary tools, so if you don't happen to have your own tools, uh, don't worry, they're all there waiting for you. So from experience, um, I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest way to make this. So you have two short screws here. I don't know what the name of this lad is, but it's the thing with the, the um, little ratchet clip on it. And we're just going to screw those in. checking and you'll get these from the instructions in your own time but 
the two screws that go here and um, you actually need what bird give you here because the the bolts are recessed and the little gadget they give you um, is dead handy for actually it's the only way to tighten it because I, I don't think you'll get now just be careful um I'll come close to the camera there's a little square head on the inside of that and that fits in to where I'm screwing from so it's important that that goes in properly and you'll see here you just hand tighten them and because it's slotted into the square groove inside uh, it won't turn now this is the one thing you do need from bird to give you a little bar and it's a 13 mil head it's extremely tight here so um literally it's only three or four turns and again just hand tighten it they're strong enough because they're cap nuts but they're strong enough you'll see as i said it's an average about four full turns and just make sure that the bolt is in the socket because it'll turn with you otherwise and uh, so there we go that's in good and secure the second pair of hands is very handy here but same applies we have the little uh, square head on this and we have four square slots here so what i do i've done this for experience because i've done a lot on my own Remember just to put the um, the curve pointing towards the ground. I think the first one or two of these I made, I I, um, I ended up having to do them a second time because I bolted them upside down. It's an easy mistake to make. Whoops. There's one, I'll just reach over and get the nut I dropped. And the other thing actually they give you two of these hooks and make sure the bit that's cut out is going to the outside of the trailer so again put in the bolt into the top slot the top that we're looking at it here There's one, I'm going to put in the two other bolts now, and then we just tighten them. Very straightforward. Sometimes these can be a little stiff, and you just have to give them. And the last one. So again, I just hand tightened these for the moment. And you'll see why it's going to light and bring it down. Um, this piece here this is the tow bar and um, you'll see there are two holes here to correspond with 
two holes here. So you'll see why I do this now. Um, I can clasp it on there. And um, I don't know what the term for that gadget is, but it keeps it upright. You'll see which bolts to use. It, it becomes obvious there's, there, there are no spares. And um, it'll tell you exactly what to use. I'll just show you on the instructions. I'm not going to go through. You can do that at your, at your own in your own time. Now, this is where a ratchet, did I do with it? Is it there a second away? Yeah. A ratchet with a 13 mil head comes in very handy. So I'm going to use the Allen key they've given me. And again, we tighten these and actually work one against the other. And again, it's only three or four turns. Back into shot. All the bolts, or all the nuts uh, on the steel trailer, apart from the two wheel nuts, are 13 mil head. So if you are getting out, have a socket set, it's a 13 is what you really want, and a 17 then for the wheels, which we'll be putting on in a moment. So two nuts here, and again, as you can see, there isn't a huge amount. That's those two tightens. And now we're going to tighten all these four here. Things about six full rotations. And tighten them hand tight. If you have a screw gun with a 13 mil socket head, all the better. And, and finally, right, that's the structure of our trailer. I'm going to put on the wheels. Uh, you'll see on the wheels there are two bearings. One is totally flush with the wheel, one is slightly recessed. The one that's flush always goes on the inside towards the trailer. Again, just to refresh, the one with the bearing on the in, uh, flush with the trailer or flush with the wheel always goes on the inside towards the trailer. <clears throat> and it's the two sharp bowls with the washer. The washer is very important. Again, you can tighten these fairly tight. And obviously one on each side. Sometimes you can hand tighten these up, or sorry, you can wind these in. Like on this side, it's twisting very easy. And it's only um, a half a turn in just to really tighten it. I have the two caps, then just to 
put the nice bird branding on the wheel. Always handy to have um, just something to tap these in with. Now, that essentially is the trailer, and now we have to put on the steel rim. For this, I'm going to um, just to speed up the process. Uh, as I said, they give you um, they give you the appropriate Allen key, but I'm just going to use the screw gun here because the um, the bolts are quite long. And don't don't forget to use. There are square washers. So you four long bolts and four square washers. Get all those ready. I'm just going to put them in my jacket here for the moment. So two side panels and be very careful to put the um, the flange, little flange at the back. So that's um, we're going in. That. and the same the little flange facing inwards at the back you'll see that the front panel has two holes on either side and we put these in here we're going to line these up here for a moment I prefer not to hit these with a hammer because um, they can be quite stubborn but you don't want to mark the steel because it's a nice sound. Now, we're going to stand the trailer up on its hind legs here and you'll be able to see what we'll do. So the four corners here, and you'll see this is why you want the square. And if you fish it in, if you feel it received. Same thing here, the longer ones, push it in. There's a little treaded end on the piece we're just after tacking in there. recommend not not to tighten the stitch and um, we'll just turn it on the side and we'll do this end the very same thing we'll do the four corners front right and left back right and left good and finally you'll be able to feel that um, you'll feel the tread we're nearly done, believe it or not. So you have four bolts left with four washers. Line these up here. And we hand tighten these first. From my experience, these can be a little stubborn, so um, have patience. 
and don't try force it. The last thing you want to do is damage the treads. Don't try force it. that I know from experience of these, and there we go. From experience, I'd always tighten these ones first. Oops. Actually, I'm going to be careful here, and I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use the Allen key. You'll know, common sense will tell you, you'll know how far to tighten. Just tighten them. Once you make a small bit of resistance, just go slightly beyond that, and you're good to go. And finally, like we all said, last but by no means least. And then the last bit of tightening. We had an incident a few years ago where somebody used a compressor, an air compressor gun making a bird go kart and did damage. So I strongly suggest you don't, even though they're really strong products, I don't think an air compressor gun is asking for trouble. Just be really careful tightening these. There we go. Finally. That's what you will be left over with. Some tools. And don't forget, as I said, to register your trailer. God forbid something should happen. Um, Berg, being the great company they are, would cover your warranties. So that's the Berg steel trailer. Um, available in store in JKC's and on our website jkctimemaster.ie. Take care.